Ever seen a website that just welcomes you with motion? Not flashy, not chaotic, just pure flow. That's what I tried to build this week. A smooth loader that expands beautifully into the main layout. Clean, satisfying and built completely from scratch just using HTML, CSS and GSAP. If you are into clean, detail-packed web animations like this, drop a like and hit subscribe. It helps a lot and keeps this channel growing. Alright, enough talking, let's jump straight into the code. Let's start by setting up the basic HTML structure. First, we've got the loader section. And inside that, a nested loader percentage wrapper containing an actual element that starts at zero. This number will update dynamically using GSAP later. Now, let's move on to the main section. This is where the intro layout lives. The main container is split into two columns. Let's start with the first one. Inside column one, there's a black card. It holds a short tagline at the top and a heading below. The top section has two spans, one for a small phrase and one showing the studio name. Below that is the card heading. It's got a small line of text and then the main headline. Next up, we have a paragraph block at the bottom of this column. It includes a small index label followed by two short paragraphs that describe the studio's design philosophy. Behind everything, there's a column background div with an image that fills the column visually. Now, for the second column, this one starts with a small top text that sits above the main title area. The title section has multiple layers, a number, then the word digital, and below that a text div containing two words side by side, story and realm. Right beneath that title group, there's a portrait box that we will later animate using clip path. Below it, we have got a short paragraph block. It includes a span for the label and two short paragraphs underneath. Just like the first column, this one also has a background image. And finally, at the bottom, we load the GSAP library from a CDN along with our main script file. And that's all we need in the HTML. Next, we will move on to the CSS and start styling the layout. Starting off with a global reset, I'm removing the default margin and padding and setting box sizing border box so layouts stay consistent. Next, I'm importing two custom fonts primary for the main headings and secondary for a smaller supporting text. Both are loaded locally from the fonts folder. Then I'm defining our color variables, a dark primary background and a soft off-white for the text. The body uses the primary font and those color variables give everything that clean dark aesthetic we want. For the images, I am setting width and height to 100% using object fit cover so they fill the container without distortion. Now the loader section. It is positioned fixed across the entire section with flex alignment pushing the content to the bottom. The background has a slightly lighter shade of black and I am giving it a high Z index so it stays on top during the animation. Next, we have got the loader percentage wrapper. It is set to overflow hidden, so when the numbers animate upward later, the transition looks clean and doesn't spill outside the container. The percentage text inside uses a huge responsive font size, around 16VW, so it scales smoothly with the screen width. Next up, the main intro layout. The main element is set to full viewport height, displayed as flex, and it also has a Z index of 20 that ensures the entire intersection stays above the loader background once the animation starts. For text elements, I am using secondary font with responsive sizing, 1VW for paragraphs and 0.8VW for spans. Each column is set up as a flex container centered both vertically and horizontally with padding for spacing. The first column takes 60% width and the second one 40%. That split gives the layout balance between the image section and the text section. Behind everything, there's a column background that holds the images and a pseudo element on top adds a soft black overlay with 0.44 opacity. Now, for the card section, it's absolutely positioned with a set width and height and viewport units, so it scales fluidly on different screens. 
The layout inside uses flex column to stack the top text and the heading. I have given it a background color using our primary variable and set a Z index of 1 so it stays above the background image but below the title and other foreground elements. The top text area uses justify content space between to spread those two lines evenly and the heading below has a small vertical gap. Inside that heading, the H2 is slightly larger, about 2.15 VW, giving the title more visual weight. Below the card, we have got a paragraph section. It's centered with text align center and given a Z index of 2, so it stays visible above the background overlay. The span has margin at the bottom for spacing. And in the first column, the entire paragraph group is aligned to bottom using align self flex end. For the second column title, I am styling it with uppercase text, center alignment and vertical flex layout. The nested text div arranges the two words story and realm side by side using flex with a big horizontal gap. Next is the portrait box. It's absolutely positioned inside the layout placed around 60% from the top and slightly to the left. So it sits nicely within the title composition. The box is about 8 viewport widths wide and 10 tall, keeping it small but noticeable. There's a bit of bottom margin for spacing. And the background image is zoomed to 190% and positioned at 45%, 20% to center perfectly on the face. Finally, background repeat is set to none, so it stays clean and doesn't tile. I have also added the responsive section at the bottom. This handles all the mobile adjustments so the layout adapts properly on smaller screens and that wraps up the CSS. Next, we will bring it all to life using JavaScript. I am starting by checking if the screen width is under 768 pixels that help us detect mobile devices and adjust the animation accordingly. Next, I am selecting all the key elements. The loader. Its percentage text, and everything inside the intersection, like the two columns. The car, the portrait box and the title headings. Then, I have defined three clip path values from the bottom, from the left, and a full reveal. These will control how each element appears during the animation. Now, I am creating init function. Inside it, I am setting the initial hidden states using GSAP. The first column is clipped from the bottom And if we are not on mobile, the second column is clipped from the left. I am also moving the titles and the card 200% down using Y%. And clipping the portrait box from the bottom. Once everything is set, we call the loader animation. Now, in the init loader function, I am setting the loader's width to 0 at the start. Then, creating a GSAP timeline. As the animation plays, the loader's width expands and percentage text updates dynamically based on the timeline's progress. The loader's width is controlled by checking if is mobile is true. If it is, it expands to full screen. Otherwise, it stays at 60 viewport width. The animation runs from about 2.4 seconds with a smooth expo in out easing. Once that completes, the percentage text animates upward over the next 1.6 seconds, triggering the main intro animation. Thank you. 
After that, the loader element is completely removed from the DOM. The animate intro function handles the main reveal. It creates another GSAP timeline. That removes the clip path from the columns. Slides in the title. And the card. And finally reveals the portrait box. The timing overlap between these animations gives that smooth layered motion effect. Finally, we attach an event listener for DOM content loaded so the whole animation sequence starts as soon as the page finishes loading. If you enjoyed this breakdown, drop a like, share it with a fellow dev and make sure to subscribe. Alright, keep being awesome and I'll see you in the next one.